Decree Absolute is one of the most popular topics on my blog. We have had hundreds of questions to the blog about Decree Absolute because to the average person in the street it's very mystical, but to lawyers it actually isn't. When you apply for Decree Absolute, you will be formally dissolving your marriage. You will have got Decree Nisi, which means Decree Unless, and then six weeks will have passed before you can apply for Decree Absolute. But people are very hesitant about applying for the final order because they're worried it will affect finances. And the advice I would give is, will it affect your financial settlement. The usual problem is, and it's quite a long shot, if your spouse dies between decree nisi and decree absolute and you don't have a financial settlement in place, then you would no longer be his or her widow or widower and you might lose out on automatic benefits that you would have got had you still been married, for example, a widow or widower's pension. And under the terms of that person's pension, there may be benefits by being still married. Uh, similarly, state benefits. But if you're not going to automatically lose out on benefits or any benefits that you might lose out on can be covered in terms of the assets anyway, then probably there's no reason at all why not to go to Decree Absolute. So take legal advice on your specific circumstances, but it's not a bigger deal as you might think. And having Decree Absolute is necessary to put into effect the terms of a financial order anyway.